subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. The Wakuna is on the port bow of the container ship Vespucci, and each vessel detects the other on radar at a range of about six miles. According to Vespucci's master, his ARPA initially shows a target on the port bow, heading north at about six and a half knots, shaping to pass ahead by about eight cables. When it's about one point on the port bow, his ARPA shows that it's altered course to the northeast and stopped. The second officer takes over the steering. He doesn't alter course or reduce speed. Vespucci passes the target at about 1100. According to the master, he never loses the target and it's never less than two cables away. He sees it astern, making about two knots, but a lookout on the port bridge wing sees nothing. The yacht is fitted with two radars, one of them a mini ARPA. The skipper disengages his engine to reduce speed. As a result, the yacht loses steerage and alters course. This confuses the master on the bridge of Vespucci. At 1100, the vessels collide. Vespucci strikes Wakuna on her port bow, cutting off the forward three meters and dismasting her. The yacht's skipper puts his engines astern to reduce the inflow of water, and the crew abandons ship. Five and a half hours later, they're rescued by a fast ferry. The master of the container ship isn't aware of the collision and continues on passage. Later, paint marks consistent with Wakuna's paint are found on Vespucci's starboard bow.